Welcome to basic English class. In the previous lecture, I randomly discussed the application of nouns. For instance, the word love is an abstract noun, whether it has a singular or a plural form or nor. It does not have any plural form. Like love is, is an abstract noun. It can be applied differently in the sentences. Similarly, we also discussed whether the word is a noun or a verb. The word love I love him. Here it performs an action, but his love for me is really admirable. Here the word love is a noun. So the same word can have two functions, noun or verb. In today's lecture, we will discuss singular and plural pronouns. I have written an example. All the students left their bags in the class. So there, this is a plural form. There is for more people. But some students make a mistake here. They say his bag. His bag is for a single person. Their bags, there is for more than one person. Two, three, four. So you have to use pronouns carefully. We've got our own car. This is R. R is for this word, we. If it were, I have my own car, there would be my instead of R. I have got my own car. He met his teachers. His teachers, this whole is them, like he met them. The word them can be replaced with his teachers, like he met his teachers. His is actually linked with the word he. I went with my brother. This my with the green color is linked with I. I, my. But my brother as a whole can be replaced with him. I went with him. Somebody can ask you, who is him? You would say, my brother. She was present in her class. Her can be the teacher. Her can be big sister, elder sister. Like, she was present in her elder sister's class. So, in her class, her mean big sister's class, the teacher's class, even her own class. Like this, her is linked now with she. She was present in her class. You have your family with you. So this your is linked with you. Here we will discuss only three columns. He, his, him. This column, second one, are possessive adjectives. These are also called modifiers because they, these words modify the nouns. His brother, his, the word his is modifying the word brother, his brother, like big brother, big is modifying brother and his brother, his is modifying the word brother. This column, these are simple subjects and these are objects. He, his, him, she, her, her, it, it's, it, I, my, me, you, your, you, we, are us, they, their, them. The next themselves, himself, herself, these things we will discuss in the coming lectures. One important thing you have to uh, remember, this is it's without apostrophe. You don't have to use this apostrophe. Because what is the rule of this apostrophe? When you say I bought a car, a car, its tires were so fantastic. Here you have used a possessive case to show the possession of a car with tires, like cars tires. So this is without apostrophe. Second is it's. This is it's working. This one is actually it is. It is working. So it is working is it's working. It is with apostrophe. So don't mix these two things. Let me tell you another important rule. The sentence one of the boys, one of the boys, this is plural. One of the boys left, left his bag. Now you have to tell me whether it is correct or wrong. His bag or their bag. 
most of the students would consider boys is plural so the pronoun would be plural as well their their bag but it's incorrect the reason reason is we are talking about only one boy we are talking about only one boy out of many one boy left his bag so one boy who was one he was among all he was one of the boys one of the boys left his bag if it were one of the girls then you had to use here her one of the girls left her bag if it were all the boys similarly all the boys left their bags or left their uh, luggage anything the next thing is if the word were none none of the boys the same rule you have to apply here none of the boys left his bag this is a singular state of a sentence none of the boys even neither of the boys like out of two neither of the boys left his bag in the class thank you very much for watching the video if you like it please share with your friends and in the next lecture we will discuss how to apply adjectives and adverbs in sentences